Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share you my journey of how I became a software engineer. And yes, without a computer science degree. If you are thinking about entering the tech industry but feel like you need a college degree to succeed, stick around. I will walk through my story, the steps I took and share practical advice to help you to get started. Spoiler alert, it's 100% possible and I'm here to show you how. I am Moshware, a boy born and raised in Germany. My first contact with computer science was when we got our first internet contract at home in year 2002. Unfortunately, we had problems for a long time because the connection to the internet didn't work. But then, on the 12th of April 2002, a computer scientist from the company Deutsche Telekom came to our home. He had long hair and glasses. He sat down to our computer and unpacked his laptop. All I saw on his screen was a black CMD window with green lettering, just like Matrix. He was typing in various commands and it just looked so cool. After 30 minutes he turned to me and said, hey, come here. I saw that he had google.de in the address bar of the Internet Explorer. He counted down with me, 3, 2, 1, and he hit enter. Suddenly. As if by magic, I could see the website of Google. This guy has fixed our internet. I was so shocked. He looked at me and asked me, Hey little boy, am I good or good? And I answered full of joy, You are great. That was the day I fell in love with IT. At home, I suddenly became a techie. Everyone who had a problem with technology came to me. I loved knowing more than others and being a hero in their eyes. I also played a lot of PlayStation, but somehow I always wanted to know how everything is working behind my console. I was the kind of person who, when I had a technical problem on the computer, I was fighting until I find a solution. I did a lot of research on the internet and tried a few solutions. Over the years, I built up my skills to a certain level. But the world of IT is much more complex and deeper than that. After graduating from my high school, one thing was clear to me. I would study computer science. I initially took a one year break after my A-levels because I wanted to earn some money and travel a bit. I did a lot of jobs, from the dishwasher at IKEA, to salesman, driver, cleaner and waiter. Of course, I did some jobs while I was at school. After my trip to Australia, I didn't hesitate for long and applied to study. Two months later, I was accepted and I set off for university full of motivation. The first few months at university went really well. I attended a lot of lectures and listened very carefully. Python was one of the first languages we were allowed to learn. Our first project was to program a small timer that kept shouting, your pizza is finished when the time was up. I found it really interesting, I really enjoy it. I feel just like the one hero back in 2002 who fixed our internet at home with his matrix commands on his computer. The theoretical part somehow never gave me any pleasure and whenever I had to study hours at home after a hard university day, I didn't enjoy it at all. To be honest, I somehow felt very depressed. I know, theory is always stupid and boring but somehow I always had so much joy and motivation in me when we could actually do something practical. I quickly realized that I learn faster and better when I'm giving to practical tasks. So it was clear to me that I am simply a practical person and I am the learning by doing type. Guys, I will be honest with you. Over time, I became more and more unhappy. This constant studying, reading and having little free time just wasn't for me at all. So after two semesters, I decided to drop out. And luckily, I had the opportunity to start an apprenticeship as an IT specialist. I dropped out of university and had to wait seven months for free apprenticeships. Because in Germany, apprenticeships always start on the 1st August. During this time, I worked in a quality control company where I had to check drilling machine parts. This job was very, very boring and took a lot of my mental health. 
having to take a break for another seven months and losing time made me very sad. But everything happens for a reason and you will find out later why all these jobs were actually good for me on my journey. It was the year 2017, to be exact, January the 2nd. I started applying for the apprenticeship very early. I had good grades and strong work reference yet. Somehow no company wanted to hire me. I had no idea why. Sometimes companies didn't respond at all. Other times they expect too much. For example, they want someone who already had deep IT knowledge. But guys, it was an apprenticeship. The whole point of an apprenticeship is to train people from scratch. Sure, I had built up some knowledge over the years, but as I mentioned before, IT is much deeper than that. What disappointed me the most was that many companies didn't even bother to respond. And yet, so many companies today complain about the shortage of IT professionals. Very paradoxical. You won't believe it, but I sent out 80 applications and out of those 80, I received only one acceptance. I didn't hesitate for long. Even though I didn't like the position during the interview, my determination to become an IT specialist was much stronger. So I accepted the offer and started my IT apprenticeship on August the 1st, 2017. The apprenticeship in Germany consists of two parts. The first part is a practical training, which takes place on three days. And the second part is a theoretical training, which takes place on two days at school. To be honest, I completely underestimated school topics because it was quite challenging. We learned Java, Python and deep IT topics. Basically everything that is also covered at university, just not so intensive. Since we spent most of our time in a practical training and working on projects on site with the clients. I quickly realized that the IT apprenticeship was very demanding because I had to learn a lot. Some of my friends who were doing different apprenticeships always told me how easy their school material was. But for me, it was the complete opposite. Unfortunately, I also had to study at home after school. But I have to mention again, not hard as in university. University is a different level. I really have respect for those people who keep going and finish their university. In 2020, I successfully completed my training as an IT specialist. I was overjoyed because I had acquired a skill that allows me to work anywhere in the world. That's exactly what makes IT so great. The ability to find work globally. After completing my training, I quickly found a job. We had a variety of clients, including doctors, lawyers and engineers. This allowed me to expand my knowledge in different fields. In my opinion, anyone new to IT should start by working for a service provider as it offers the best experience and exposure to different clients. One day I was working for doctors, the next I was helping a small business that sold wood. From automation programming and installing updates to server configuration, troubleshooting and firewall setups, I did a bit of everything my first job. This makes me high valuable in the market. Honestly, I don't want to be arrogant, but this is the truth. I'm really grateful for my training, especially for the combination of school and work. In school, we learned programming and worked on interesting tasks, like building a fuel calculator or creating a software update program that automatically patches servers. We also learned the deep basic of IT such as firewalls, network administration, IP addresses, subnetting and much more. I want to share something valuable for your feature and explain why all my previous job, like working as a waiter or a driver, helped me become a great IT specialist. Through these different jobs, I gained a lot of valuable experience. As a driver, you deal with a completely different type of customers than, for example, when you're working in the laundry department at IKEA, where the tone is raw and direct. In clothing store, on the other hand, people communicate in much more polite and respectful way. Thanks all these jobs, I developed an important skill the ability to handle different people and situations. This quality reflects in my current job as well. No matter the situation, I know how to react and make the right decision. If a customer is angry or frustrated, it's not a problem for me. I know how to handle it professionally. Even if a critical customer system is down and we are under time pressure to fix the problem, I stay calm. It is what it is. I still remember a really funny story. My first IT job was a complete disaster. I accidentally caused a short circuit because I connected the server backup power supply the wrong way. The customer server crashed and they lost some important data. And today, I work at one of the best IT companies in Switzerland and even stood on a stage in front of 800 people to give a speech.
But what I really want to tell you is, never lose hope in yourself, never give up. If I had quit after my first big mistake, I would have never found out how far I could go. It all started with a difficult and depressing time at university, but now I look back on my journey with pride, working at the best IT company in Switzerland. And one more thing, my trainer always told me that he didn't believe I could complete my apprenticeship. He was wrong. My mindset was right. 